Rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage here. Today we're gonna learn how to play Bad Things by Jace Everett. Funny little story as I used to go to college with Jace Everett when he was known by another name. Um, we went to Belmont together. Pretty cool, huh? I think so. Um, okay, so here we go. We're going to play Bad Things. And this is a super simple song and it's super cool. I love it. So, um, it's actually an E minor. And so I'm going to play through the I'm just going to play through it and then I'll explain the bits and pieces as we're going along. Um, and then I'll show you some other really cool little goodies with it too. I don't know the lyrics to this song. I probably do, but they're um, shaking around in there somewhere. So guitar lesson, not vocal lesson. So it's going to go something like this. When you came in the air went out da -da 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 I want to do real bad things to you. Okay, we'll stop there. You know why? Because that's the entire song. That's right. If you know that, you know the entire song. Um, just a lot of repeat. Okay, so let's break this down into the lick and into the chords. The basic chords that you need to know for this are E minor, A minor, and B7. I use two versions of B7. I use the open version and I use the bar chord version. If you need help with any of these chords, I have several places that I can help you with, um, that I can help you at. Uh, YourGuitarStage.com, if you hit the link below, you'll get um, a free ebook that has these, all these chords in the E minor, A minor, B7. Um, and then here on YouTube, actually it has bar chords in there as well. But here on YouTube, if you need help with bar chords, I have just the solution. Just type in your Guitar Sage bar chords and I will help you with that sort of thing. Okay, so um, the lick is gonna go something like this. Okay, now what I'm doing here is really I'm just emphasizing, even though it looks like I'm hitting all the strings, I'm really just emphasizing the low E string. Um, I'm playing a little bit of this second, uh, this second fret of the A string, um, so it's a little bit of a fatter sound instead of... I'm doing a... So when I'm just hitting this open E, I'm actually catching that note right there, um, which makes it a power chord. If you don't know what a power chord is, here on your YouTube, type in your Guitar Sage Power Chords, and I'll help you with that. Um, okay, so, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit this, the third fret and the eighth fret. Okay, so, and I'm doing a little mute here. I'm going... Okay, so you want to practice that. And then... I'm doing a right hand mute. Um, if you want more information on that here on YouTube, Your Guitar Sage right hand mute. Okay, so that's that main lick there. And then we got, um, oh, we got this bar chord here. So right after, okay, so. Now the reason I'm going up for this is because I'm just, I had just hit this eighth fret and then we need to play that chord right away. So as opposed to jumping down here and trying to grab that B7, this one, and it sounds nice. Okay, so um, in order to play this, basically you're thinking E major moved up the fretboard to a B and then lose the pinky. That makes it a seventh chord, a dominant seventh chord to be exact. Okay, so that's our B dominant seventh there. And so, and then we have 
um, the other B7 that's down here, okay? So, here we go, the chords after the lick. Um, so basically we got an E minor. If you're not gonna play the lick, you could play this open B7. A minor, E minor, B7, E minor, B7, I wanna do real bad things to you, E minor. And then together. I want to do real bad things to you. Okay, pretty easy. Now, if you want to do a little noodling in this tune, he uses a little bit of a Hendrixy lick there, yeah, from Hey, hey Joe. Uh, if you listen to that, does a little bit of noodling down there in the key of E minor. He's using the E pentatonic, or actually the E blues. And um, so if you want to know a little bit about soloing and that sort of thing in the that free ebook, I've got the scale, the blues scale, E blues scale, and um, you would play it in the open position and you can noodle over top of this chord progression and it sounds really, really nice. So if you have a buddy play the, the um, chords that I just showed you and then you can noodle over the top and you switch back and forth. A lot of fun. Hopefully you learned something here. If you did, thumbs up. Um, hit subscribe. Um, what else? Get the free ebook, uh, free video series at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. That's right. That's what I'm here to do is to teach you guitar for free. So go there, get that free series. Um, if you have any questions about this video or any video, any song that I've taught here, or you just want to know what kind of hair gel I use, please hit me up at Twitter. Um, link is below, and so is the Facebook link below. Hit me up in those two places. I would love to talk to you. And um, as you know, I'm an animal lover. Please spay and neuter your animals. I'm Eric Andreas with Your Guitar Sage. See ya. When you came in, the air went out. Da 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 da. da.